Minister, the Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, the Honourable Leader of the Opposition seems to be too busy patting himself on the back to actually do his homework. <laughs> at the end of the day, heating oil costs anywhere between two and four times the price of natural gas. It is a particular driver of energy poverty in this country. We have taken steps forward to improve affordability by enabling the, the, the implementation of heat pumps, which will save people up to $2,500 a year, but doing so in the context of a plan to fight climate change, something, again, that the Leader of the Opposition has said nothing about in the years since he became the Leader of the Opposition. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Badly for that Liberal Minister who's been abandoned by his leader, who the leader of their government won't even stand and defend his own decisions. We know that on Thursday, he suddenly, after having his door beat down by terrified Liberals about to lose their seats, decided to flip-flop and bring in a temporary pause on a tax until after the election, dividing Canadians once again into two different classes. If he's so proud of how he's divided people, if he's so proud of how he's forcing Canadians to choose between eat, heating and eating, why won't he have the guts to stand up and say so now? That I have been is. The Honourable Minister. I'll tell you who's feeling abandoned by their leader. Conservative Albertans, New Democrat Albertans, Liberal Albertans. You know why, Mr. Speaker? Because Danielle Smith is trying to take Albertans out of the Canada Pension Plan. And what do we have from the leader of the Conservative opposition, Mr. Speaker? Weak sauce and platitudes. The pretender to the throne can stand up here right today and say a full-throated defence of Canada Pension Plan while his 30 Alberta MPs stand in silence. Will he or won't he? I know we will, Mr. Speaker, and Albertans can count on us defending them every single day along with their pensions. I, I... The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, that carbon tax question was for the Prime Minister on Prime Minister's question period today. And I know that I, I don't have my glasses on, but that guy doesn't look like the Prime Minister, <laughs> Mr. Speaker. You're right, it's not. So I have a very simple motion. It says that given that the government has announced a temporary three-year pause to the federal carbon tax on home heating oil, the House call on the government to extend that pause to all forms of heating oil, period. Will the Prime Minister have the courage to stand up and indicate whether the vote on this motion will be a free vote for his members? Yeah. The Honourable Minister. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Those of us on this side of the House prefer to do good public policy rather than simply just play politics. I know that is, a, that is an idea that seems to be foreign to the Leader of the Opposition. Heating oil is two to four times expensive as natural gas. It is a particularly acute issue for people in a number of provinces, not just in Atlantic Canada. The program that we are putting into place applies across the country. It is to ensure that we are addressing concerns around affordability in a thoughtful way, while also addressing concerns around climate change, which I'm sure their children will tell them is a very important issue.